Hello everybody. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about why I really like GraphQL and why I replaced the, my, the REST API that I used to build. I replaced them with GraphQL. Uh, and also how I replaced Redux with GraphQL, or not GraphQL, but Apollo. We'll talk about it later. Hola. <laughs> the first reason why I like GraphQL and why I replaced it is because um, doing REST APIs always felt like um, doing lots of code and it always felt super long, like you have to define a URL and you have to make a view and you have to send a bunch of data when on the GraphQL side, making a GraphQL server takes almost no time. Uh, you can put a database if you want or if you don't want to, you don't need a database and you don't have to, to make URLs and you don't have to make views and all that stuff. So it's, it's so much simpler, in my opinion, to make an API with a GraphQL. I actually have built a couple of products now with GraphQL and I can tell you it took me maybe 60% less time doing it with GraphQL than if I would have done it with Django or Django REST framework. Like I really love Django, but Compared to what Apollo or like GraphQL Yoga and Node.js can do, I just finished everything so much quicker and it was so much faster to deploy on a server and everything. So that is the first, that is, that is the first reason because making REST API takes longer and it's always lots of code and it's like a big chunk. Making GraphQL API is super faster in my opinion. The second reason of why I um, changed was because on the front end, usually people used to call APIs with fetch and they get the URL number one, the URL number two, and then they have to handle the JSON and then they have to handle the response and all that stuff. But nowadays with something called Apollo, which we have a course on the academy, um, you don't do any of those things. Um, you don't call fetch, you don't handle JSON, you don't put data on the props of React, nothing. It just does everything for you, and all you have to do is write a query. So, and it's, it's, it's super, it's more clear to know what you're gonna get and what is the server gonna give you and what do you want and everything. It's super, super nice. Uh, so that's reason number two that the integration with React is just painless, you don't write any fetch code, you don't write anything else, and it just handles it for you because it's one endpoint, it's one URL, and there's not much, there's not um, configuration and complex stuff to do. And the third reason why I like GraphQL is because that on the client, with Apollo, I replaced Redux completely. Uh, I was never a Redux fan, but Redux was the only thing that made the state, uh, state management kind of easy, right? So, not easy, but organized. So, I wasn't a fan of Redux, but now with GraphQL, you can actually manage your local state of your um, application with GraphQL. So, you can modify the GraphQL data locally in your application. This means that you don't need to use GraphQL and Redux, you can replace Redux. Uh, on Redux there is a lot of code of actions and dispatch action and map state to props and all that stuff, which is all right. But now on, the, on all the um, products that I've made nowadays, I haven't used Redux once and I only use GraphQL and Apollo and I can do local state management with Apollo and GraphQL, which is something super nice. So those are the, third, the three reasons. The first one, making REST APIs, in my opinion, is so much faster. And you don't make a REST API, you make a GraphQL API. It's so much faster, so much cleaner. The code looks more beautiful. The API is more clear. The second one is that the integration with React is amazing. Uh, there's a lot of libraries, a big community, and making queries is so much simpler. No need to fetch, no need to props, no need to do Axios and remember the URL and no, no need to do all of that. And the third reason is, that I can, I can replace Redux with GraphQL and Apollo. So those are my three reasons. If you have more reasons, let me know. If you disagree and you think that uh, Redux is still awesome, let me know as well. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.